I just want everybody to know that um, the devil is a dirty liar and I've worked. I simply want everyone to know that the devil is a shady liar and that I've worked my tail out to avoid getting married to someone who files for divorce from me. I'm not sure if I'll be able to move on from that one because it means that I don't want you to have there's a lot of TSP here and you won't believe how crazy Jer acted towards her. Oh, how you basking in somebody else's pain? Like, what do you mean? If you guys thought that the situation between Tamar Braxton and her ex-boyfriend Jeremy Robinson was about to get better, you better think again because Tamar is now coming out to reveal that Jeremy was abusive to her during their relationship. In addition, Tamar is coming with a lot of evidence to show how bad he gas lit manipulated and abused her during the relationship. Yeah, that's kind of fortunate, I mean, in case you all missed it, it has been a couple of days since Jeremy came out to announce that he had broken up with Tamar, and he made it more clear that he was the one who broke up with her. And not the other way around, he also hinted strongly that she was the toxic one in the relationship, and that the breakup was entirely her fault, he said Tamar, and I are no longer together, I ended the relationship to focus focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person what happened. And why that's our private place, no, I never cheated, I never cared about fame. I have always represented famous people. And the truth is I was in an amazing place financially and mentally I turned down queen courts several times before I gave in. Ultimately, I fell in love. And it did not end how I wanted it to, so I want to heal Tamar. And I will always be friends and family for life. We thought it was kind of weird how he took his time to make sure everyone knew that the breakup wasn't his fault. And he was a good guy fans thought that he was being a weird. But according to Tamar, not only is he a weirdo, but he's also abusive and manipulative AFCH. We could have told her this for free because we all had our suspicions about Jeremy and how he doesn't seem to be what he pretends to be first. There's the massive red flag about him having five kids from four different baby mamas. This situation was a disaster waiting to happen because four baby mamas is just a recipe for disaster and a messy situation waiting to happen, especially because we all know that Tamar has a smart mouth and isn't exactly known for keeping her cool in tense situation. Like that wasn't bad enough one of his baby and exposed him for being a creep who like he to prey on single black women who were looking for love. She said he has a fetish over black women so much that he often refers to himself as light-skinned white chocolate and tags himself the minority within the minority. He would attend the club almost nightly preying on beautiful black women. And taking them home, she also revealed that he was extremely rude, arrogant, racially insensitive womanizing, and degrading adding that he claims to be an ally of the people and a protector of black women. But his actions tell us otherwise. She also exposed him for being a colonizing predator that fulfills his fetish of racial babies to further feed his ego and desire of wanting to be accepted amongst the black community. This is really wild but it kind of adds up to why and how he chased Tamar so hard and moved hard on her. He went on the dating show Queen's Court and immediately stared putting moves on Tamar. He had no eyes for any of the other contestants on the show, but it was fairly shocking when he decided to propose to Tamar only after a few weeks of their meeting. And of course she said, yes, she even managed to force a couple of tears out, oh my God. I love you, Tar. Will you, will you marry me? Something told me to trust the process. And I've never done anything like this before. And what's the worst that can happen getting engaged after only knowing each other for a couple of weeks is almost always a recipe for disaster. But when you factor in the fact that these two both have a messy past with relationships, well, things go from being messy to being chaotic. Like I said before, Jeremy has five kids with four different women. But Mar isn't exactly innocent. Either she's been married twice and divorced, twice her first marriage, barely made it past a year before she decided to pull the plug. And let me tell you that divorce was something out of a soap opera. Then came round two when she got married to Vince Herbert 
they managed to stick it out for a whole years. And just when we thought they were a forever couple, Tamar threw in a towel, filed for divorce, and leveled some pretty serious accusations against him. She even got a restraining order, talk about messy. After all that drama, she decided to give love another shot with a guy named David Ad Aso. And well, that was a total train wreck. After that breakup, she did the whole I need to focus on myself and heal thing, but that didn't last. And the next thing we knew she was on Queen's Court and got engaged to Jeremy after like five seconds oh. And y'all know how I said that the four baby M were bound to cause some trouble for Tamar. Well, it didn't take long for that to spring up. And it started when Tamar went on and on about how much she loved Jeremy and his kids. She said, it's my birthday. But I have to post the one who puts this cheesy smile on my face. It took me a while to realize that this wholesome traditional love is the kind that I wanted and needed. We have six children between the two of us. And they mean everything to me, so miss me with a he is blessed with four baby masas. Thank God. Based on her endless praises of the children, one would assume that they were a single, happy family living in harmony. However, this was not the case. As one of Jeremy's baby, M took offense at Tamar discussing her child in such a way. To be clear to everyone who knows me and everyone who knows them, this woman is not a bonus in any way. She is my son's stepmother, and my son is not everything to her. She has not expressed gratitude to God for me or, to be honest, any of his baby mamas. She has said offensive, demeaning, and outrageous things, and she hasn't tried to get to know me as a mother or a woman. Furthermore, she has made my son's father miss birthdays and visitation weekends. Because Jeremy commented, Tamar Braxton has always been an amazing mother and spoiled my children with love. Jeremy did try to defend Tamar. However, sometimes a difference of opinion without a dialogue to clear up misunderstandings creates a terrible cycle. Jeremy tried to play the good guy, but he was soon exposed as a cloud chaser. You know, the part where he said he turned down Queen's Court to make it look like he wasn't after fame. Well, Holly P., the show host, took to Instagram to expose him for lying about this saying. Tamar had nothing to do with Jeremy missing visits with his kids because he was the one who didn't want to see them, no matter how hard she begged them to. Nevertheless, she moved on with the relationship and ended up getting dumped. Kings of them all jar finally came out to address the breakup and made a video where she basically denied that she was the reason for the breakup, saying that she had been working on being a better person, really grateful um. I have done a lot to work on my mental health and change, who I used to be into who I am now. And um, I can't help if people fall into that person, because it's easy and I get it you know. But I won't let anybody hold me captive to my past and things that I have overcome. She also defended herself from Jason, talking about how she was the problem in the relationship mentally healthy. And I'm happy um, I'm hurt. But such as life, I'm surprised. But okay, she then revealed just how badly he had treated her saying that he dumped her the same hour her home and car got vandalized, she said. Imagine your home being robbed, moving to a new city, trying to find your new tribe, never finding where you fit in, and then finally settling in with at least one person you trust to getting your car robbed and vandalized then broken up with from the person you love and feel safe with all in the same hour. It's too much this tells us about how unsympathetic Jeremy can be, but he dialed a step up when he tried to show support for Tamar for her upcoming tour. He said Dallas get ready for the one and only Tamar Braxton sending love and like thank you Tamar for being super supportive during an incredibly difficult time. You are not a negative and horrible person. You are a blessing to the world and have always been nothing short of supporting and uplifting. Now I know that he said nothing bad, but fans couldn't stop thinking about how the compliment felt underhanded, you know, like he was throwing a sneak diss at her. And all that, especially the part where he said she's not negative and horrible, like people were already moving on from the drama, and nobody was talking about it. 
So why would he even say that well Tamar threw some shade right back at him, saying, I can't believe I'm going on my loving wars, who are so broken people do things on purpose. Just to see you hurt misleading is a bus, and a pattern I'm so stupid. After so much hurt at some point, you have to get the strength to close the chapter what a fool I wish. She is hurting really bad about this, and honestly who can blame her it's a tough position to be in. And according to insiders, Tamar didn't even tell half of the story. Because Jeremy was verbally and emotionally abusive towards her, he would constantly put her down, and then gaslight her when she tried to tell him what he was doing wasn't okay. And she begged him to treat her better well fans, had a lot to say about this drama, and left comments, like although Tamar is not one of my favorite people, she didn't deserve this kind of BS, and gaslighting right before a tour, so I'm sending her good vibrations. And I would urge her to use the pain to power through. And 